Well, good morning, everybody. So we are at Missouri, and we are going to be putting in a, uh, starting the framing of a bathroom, a uh, utility room, and a shop, or a, wood, a place to do woodworking and stuff. And then the rest of the shop, if you can see behind me, um, that's just going to be for working on equipment, uh, whatever I want to do, you know, bring a car in here, work on it, uh, tractor. Uh, not going to store implements in here. We hope to uh, put implements in the uh, other pole barn we got right now. It's an older pole barn. We might update that at some point. But So you can see behind me here, you can see some of the plumbing on the, on the floor here, back to my right, um, on the floor. And then over here, there's some more plumbing. That's for a, a, a vanity and stuff. And then that's for the bathtub or a shower, not a bathtub, but a shower and a uh, toilet. And then... Also over there, we have a place for a washer and dryer, and there's a place right there, right here for a washer and dryer hookup, right there. Um, so anyway, uh, so what we're going to be doing here um, is starting to frame this out. Uh, we'll chalk line it uh, where the walls are going to be. We started last night cleaning some of this area up out here. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera around a little bit here. This building is uh, 40 by 60, and as they tell you always, build it bigger. As you can see, from around me, this thing is full of crap. I should say whatever. I mean, I got my truck in here with lumber on it, but it is still full um, until we get it organized. So what we plan on doing back over here behind me is we're gonna do a, a bathroom and then a utility room, which is about eight foot wide by 15. And then we're gonna do a, uh, um, a shop, workshop, which would be 15 feet by around 20 some feet, 25 feet. And then above that, we're gonna put two by 12 joists all the way across. We're gonna deck it out. And so as you can see up high here, you know, we got plenty of room. We'll have eight foot ceilings, at least eight foot ceilings above. Uh, sorry, I cut myself off. Eight foot ceilings above here, so on top of that. So what the plan is, is to deck all this out, get this framed in, deck it all out, and then move all this stuff behind us, all the boxes back over there, Everything except for the woodworking equipment that will go in the in the shop itself and everything else is going to go upstairs And we're going to build stairs back along that back wall over here uh, back over there and so Everything's going to go upstairs on top of that deck to get it off the floor down here And then that way we can start organizing uh, Because right now we cannot organize organize anything with all the stuff back here. So all right So we're going to start on the back wall back here Start with a 12 foot wall. We're using pressure treated for the plate uh, for those who don't know, anytime you put wood on concrete, you should always use pressure treated. I don't care anybody tells them, there's indoors, outdoors, whatever. Concrete will wick moisture. So don't believe me, go lay a piece of wood on a piece of concrete and let it sit there for a day or two, and it will be wet underneath. So make sure you use a pressure treated. So our bottom plate will be pressure treated. We'll do a top plate, and then we'll do a top plate to tie in, another top plate to tie in all the walls together once we're done. So we're going to mark off the... Uh, So what I'm doing here is laying the plate out, uh, marking 16 inches on the center, and then I'm just putting an X to the uh, right side of it. That's where my, my two by four will go when I leave this uh, two by four on edge. We'll put our eight footers. Another thing we're doing, uh, something you want to think about when you're doing a plate on the bottom and two plates on top, that's four and a half inches. So if you use a drywall or plywood, in our case, we're gonna we're gonna put sheet sheeting plywood foot across all along the building here um, to hang stuff on etc except for in the bathroom we'll put drywall but you got to think about it if you're using eight foot, eight foot material then you got to allow that eight foot material you need to subtract off that plate so if your plate's four and a half inches you got an inch and a half on the bottom three and a half on or, uh, three inches on top inch and a half inch and a half so that's four and a half inches if you don't allow for that plate and you just use your two by fours in the standard length, then guess what's gonna happen? When you put that sheeting material on there, whether it's drywall, plywood, whatever, you're gonna be four and a half inches short. So, you know, you gotta cut a four and a half inch strip all along the top or the bottom. So make sure you 
you should track that plate off for the top and bottom. So I mentioned earlier about uh, making your walls, making sure your eight foot time you get through adding your plate on and stuff. So what we've done here, um, we've set up our uh, compound miter saw, and I've got a stop put on back here. Uh, if you can see it right there, so I got the stop out on it uh, right there. So I got the stop on it, and what we're doing is we got this set up for 92 inches. So we're cutting all these two by fours. 92 inches and then once that's done we'll go and put them on the plate and then nail them onto the plate and then lift the wall up so that's the easy way to do it um, set you a stop up you know cut them all the same length and then you don't have to worry about trying to measure each one and going over there and cutting one measuring it cutting it measuring it, cutting it so we got the stop set up for 92 inches we'll cut them all 92 inches Yeah, like I say, we got our stomp set up. And we'll do that for our whole wall. I got them sitting back here on the trailer. Also, what we'll do is once we get all these cut, we'll crown them all. So if you don't know what crowning means, you look down, you sight the edge of the board. So what you're doing for crowning. When you get ready to crown these, you'll look down the side of the board. You, all you care about is these edges here. So if I look down the edge of the board, if I see a curve this way, though, I want the crowns all either up or all down, whatever which way we want to do it. But you want to make sure they're, they're crowned the same way so you don't have a, a wavy wall. So very important. It doesn't, I don't care what the board does this way. You know, the, the flat side, I don't care if it's got a little curve that way. That'll straighten out when you put your material on. But. Here we do care about. We care about. We care about the edge this way. So when those, those two by fours are laying in the wall like this, we want to make sure we got them crowned. You know, either they're cupped here and they're they're curved, they're crowned this way or the other way around. But they all got to be the same way. But we'll do that later when we get through cutting.
Is it alright if I stay today? Take my time, far behind, leave my pride. Oh, is it alright if I stay? Is it alright if we just stay today? Is it alright? Cause I wish we could just stay Take our time Far behind Leave our pride Oh, is it alright if we stay? Is it alright? If I decide but change my mind, is that okay? Is it alright if I don't wanna feel obliged in any way? Is it alright if I waste my time and I lead myself to a mistake? Just accept and walk away Alright, now we're going to use the concrete gun, the nailer, it has a little uh, 22 round cap on it and we're going to drive a nail down to the concrete floor. I highly suggest, I highly suggest you use ear protection because this is going to be loud inside this building. I just put these little orange plugs in, they're fine. Got dead in the noise. Um, so what we're gonna do next, eventually between those two by fours up top there, there's a steel girder that goes across. What we're gonna do is we're gonna nail in nailers in between those two by fours, about every other one, and we're gonna use uh, wood to sheet metal screws and screw them into the top plate up there, into that, up to that beam up there, so that will keep that wall. You know, we'll level it up, you know, and that will keep that wall uh, pretty square on level and also give us some more support. So what I'm going to so do right now is I'm going to go ahead and put... I got one of these screws here, I don't know if you see it or not. These are wood to sheet metal. So I'm gonna go and put one on top up there to keep that wall, that wall this way, it'll be plumb once I put it in that uh, girder up there.
will probably help the green reel the, the screws don't really go in wood very well, even though they're called wood to metal. But probably will pre green reel them before you come in there. So I want to show you what we're going to do here. I was talking about earlier on. So we got this this beam here. The uh, purling going across for the steel outbuilding and then what I'm going to do is put blocks in here you can see that block put a couple screws in it and then drilling down you can see there we're using the uh, wood to sheet metal screws so we'll do that about every other two by four and you can see that stiffens that up we'll do that everywhere around down through there that way to <clears throat> it really just keeps it you know we'll plumb it up it's uh in fact right now that's perfectly level on that wall up. So we'll do that all the way down to the end. All right, so we got our first wall up. We're going to move over and do the second wall over by the window there. We're trying to figure out if we want to go past the window or stop at the window. And eventually we're going to keep going around the shop. But as you can see, we have so much junk over there to move. That's not going to happen today. So we're just trying to get, right now we're trying to get the wall in. We're putting up have an electrician come out and put a sub panel in for us uh, in a couple of weeks. So we gotta have a place for that sub panel to go. All right, mark it on the second plate. The next bolt to the second wall. Lucky yesterday when we bought these two by fours, we bought 50, and they came out of a fresh uh, pallet. So. so, fortunately, they're all pretty straight. Plus, we went through them. I can't say everyone was straight in pallet. We did go through them. With that guy. We weren't that lucky. window right there so we had to take out one of the two by fours so it doesn't block the window so we just moved over an inch and a half is all we had to do so and then what we'll do is cut the other two two by fours and the jacks underneath the window and at some point we got to put a header in above the window even though I mean, it is supporting the floor joists when we put the or the ceiling joists when we get ready to put the ceiling joists on but we will put a header in above
back in here. We got to frame this one, but we really want to get the back wall done. We're only up here for two days, so we want to get the back wall done because we have a sub panel, like I said earlier on, going in. So we got to get that done. I got to put the sub panel between the window and where the utility room is going to be. It's going to be in the utility room, so we had to get that done. So now we'll focus back on the, the bathroom wall, outside wall over here. We'll work on that next Probably. afternoon and tomorrow, and then maybe start framing out some interior walls. All right, so we're going to build the other wall on the other side over here. Um, back in the corner back here, you can't really see it. You might be able to see a little bit of it. Put a nailer back there. If you don't put your nailer in now, because when you put your other wall going this way, this is uh, the, the east and west. If I put my wall up east and west over there, that last two by four will be covered up, and then I won't have anything to nail my sheet good on when I go fly with a drywall back here. Uh, my material back here, I want everything nailed into that corner, so you gotta put your nail up. You can build nailers prior to. Um, if you know you got a lot of corners, uh, basically you put, you use two, two by, three two by fours, and you put them, put them on edge, and then you put the other one on top of it, and leave a little, you know, about a three quarter inch space along one edge, and make your corners like that. And we used to build all of our corners like that prior to uh, building the house. You know, sit over there and build, you know, 20 corners, you know, whatever, and that way you just go get a corner. Because they all work, you know, once you build a corner, they work in any corner. So you build all your corners and you use those corners, you know, at the end of your uh, each wall that you're building. But in this case here, we only got one corner, I'll, you know, four corners later on, but it's not worth building a corner. So we're just going to nail, we'll just toenail the, the wood in or the uh, two by fours and afterwards. Skies, no shame. Paradise, the grandest prize, no game. Paraclete shows a pair of hearts to the king. Sun applies, this is worth a fight, angel sing. This is the big. Bang the cracking of the cord. This is the cord that made the first speck explode. This is the music that made the whole world turn. The love that we all came from. Travel far, followed all the stars and the sun. Now here with a silent ear and one. Go band together and we sing. This is the big bang. Cracking up the cord. This is the cord that made the first speck explode. This is the music that made the whole world turn. The love that we all came from, it's which we now return. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. No, we are.